All right, so good evening, Nati. Thanks for joining the class. Okay. Hi, good evening, teacher. You know, you're the very first one right now. <laughs> That's great. Okay. All right, so good evening, Jose, Mr. Sierra. Welcome. Hi, teacher. So how are you, Jose? I'm fine, teacher. Yeah, that's great. That's great. I'm happy about that. Um, all right. So, so far, it's only you two. I mean, and right now, I have Sulma. So welcome, Sulma. Welcome. All right, yes, it's only eight o'clock. So that's why I think everybody is just starting to join me over here. Okay, so I have some more participants. So welcome Luis, uh, Adriana, so good evening everyone. All right, let's begin this. You know, it's eight o'clock right now, according to my, uh, to my cell phone over here and according to my computer. And as you know, uh, we, we always start with the words of the day. And tonight, the word of the day is the following. Okay, let me just uh, get this. And the word or phrase, in this case, it's a phrase. It's bite the bullet. Okay, yes, literally bite a bullet or bite the bullet. And you may be wondering what by the bullet means. Okay. And just to let you know, uh, it's, it means to suck it up, uh, to take it, to be forced about to fake, grasp the nettle, etc. But if I use, you know, these expressions over here, I think I'm going to get you more confused. So instead of using those uh, synonyms, let's use the meaning. Okay. Bite the bullet means make yourself do something difficult or unpleasant, okay? Or face a difficult situation, or in other words, deal with something difficult, okay? So that means uh, buy the bullet, okay? And then we have, uh, you know, this is the definition, by the way, to try to deal with a problem or difficulty. And I have an example sentence for you. I have a hard time. I mean, I'm sorry. I have a hard exam to take tomorrow. I'll have to buy the bullet. Okay. I have no choice. So in other words, to buy the bullet means to face a situation. You know, you, you can say I have to, uh, I have to do it. Because, and you say that I have no choice over here. So remember the word of, uh, of tonight is, or the phrase of tonight is to buy the bullet. And on the next page, I have uh, more examples for you. All right. And, and this is what I have. Okay. Let me just get this information. So as you can see, uh, by the bullet, someone is forced to endure a negative or painful situation because they don't have any other choice. All right. So by the bullet means uh, to, uh, to deal with. Okay. You can say, I, I just have to buy the bullet. You know, I have no choice. You know, I have no choice. 
and, and admit my faults, etc. But if you take a look at this conversation over here, right? Take a look at this conversation right here, okay? There's a conversation between a, a father and a son. And then the father says, your mom wants to go on a second honeymoon this year for our anniversary. Then the son replies, so what's the problem? She disturbs it for everything she does. And the father replies, I know she does, but it's expensive. And the son says, well, dad, you are just going to have the, uh, you're, going, you're, you're just going to have to, uh, to buy the bullet and spend the money. She needs to get away for a while. So in other words, the, the son is saying, dad, I'm sorry, but you have no choice. You know, buy the bullet. What we say this in Spanish would be hacerle frente. Okay. Hacerle frente. Okay. Or, or like we said in Salvadorian uh, slang, hacerle, and then you know what it means, right? This, by the way. Do you have any questions about this? So, no. All right. No. All right, and uh, let's continue with this. All right. Before I move forward, I'm gonna send to you uh, today and maybe tomorrow and Fridays. I'm sorry, in Thursday class, I'm gonna send to the to the chat on WhatsApp. You know, in in let's say in two or three minutes, a PDF with all the exercises that actually most of the exercises and activities you're gonna be completing today. You know, I think it's better if I send all the material, you know, at once, you know, every, every time we start the class. You know, instead of just sending an image, you know, you know, an image after image, I think it's better if I just share the whole material with you. All right. So uh, let me just one second. So in other words, uh, my friends, uh, I'll be sharing with you right now, okay? I'll be sharing with you the, uh, this PowerPoint presentation on a PDF format, all right? So I think it's better for you to have everything in there. It's like if I'm, uh, if I'm sharing with you a textbook, okay? With, with all of the activities uh, I'm going to be um, working on tonight. And there we go. All right, so did you get it? I get it. All right, so let me know if you're able to open it, please. Yes, no problem with it. So no problem with the document, right, all right. So uh, let me just open this up and just share the screen of that file. As you can see in, in that uh, file, you're going to find the same information I'm sharing with you on the PowerPoint. So I think it's better for you to have like a textbook for you to have everything, uh, you know, available over there, all right? So you see, uh, so, and this is that what I just presented right now. And then we have the second slide and everything. And then I have this grammar explanation. And the next topic is going to be the traditional games of El Salvador. Okay. So traditional games of El Salvador. Okay. And then out of this, you know, this kid playing marbles, chibolas, and these, these two other kids playing also chibolas with this circle and everything, I'll be sending four more images because I'll be uh, sharing with you an extra material that you're going to read and then uh, share and talk about with your classmates, okay? After I, I explain the, uh, the grammar for tonight, okay? So let me just go ahead and share with you the images related to the traditional games of El Salvador, okay? So I'm gonna be sending this also to the chat, you know, very quickly. Just one sec. 
Now, just listen, please. Uh, you know that the PDF I shared with you is the same information as the platform, but, but in a textbook format. Okay. So let me just get it for you. Just one second over here. All right, so are we good up to this point, everyone? Yes, teacher. All right, appreciate your feedback over here. And um, right now, you know, it, this might look a little bit slow, but I think uh, in a couple of minutes, you know, you're gonna understand in a better way this, because that's, that's you know, the, uh, the objective, you know, not to waste time over here. So I'll be sending four images right away and you'll be getting this uh, in the chat right now. Okay. So this is going to be the first per activity for, for, for today. Okay. The, the first one has to do with uh, uh, Ranca Cebolla and then you have Marbles. Yeah, you had Mika, Trompo, Capirucho, and everything over there. And guess what? The good thing is that the uh, information, it's in English. So you're going to have the opportunity to talk about your childhood games in English. Okay? And that's actually great, you know, I think. Um, all right. Just one second. Let me just go ahead and share this the uh, PowerPoint presentation again, and then we take it further. All right. So as far as I remember, yesterday uh, you were uh, practicing the the past uh, tense of some verbs. In, in, in you know, overall they were uh, regular verbs. But tonight we're gonna go over you know point one, two, three, uh, point uh, four, five, and six in order to understand, you know, a little bit, you know, uh, deeper, the past tense grammar notes, all right? Point number one, we use the simple past, of course, as you know, to talk about complete events or completed events. And then over here, I have one, two, three, and four examples. Uh, let me just choose uh, a first uh, a student to help me read this. So Adriana, help me please read uh, sentence one, two, three, and four, please. Okay. We watched a really good movie. I went to Nepal for a year. I played tennis when I was a kid. They bought a new house. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, your pronunciation is actually perfect. And I will say that. And just to give you, uh, everyone, a tip on how to pronounce the past tense uh, in a sentence, because you have to listen to me please you have to pronounce the ed uh, correctly every single time but when the verb is in a sentence you can reduce you know the the stress or, or the strength or the, or the force you use to pronounce the verb because in, in context or in a natural conversation you're supposed to to uh, be fluent okay and to and and you know most important, you know, the most important thing is to communicate, okay? So listen to me, please. All right, I'm not saying that the way Adriana uh, read this, it's incorrect. But you can also say it, I would say, the American style. You know what I'm saying over here? Yes? Yes. All right, so listen to this. We watched uh, a really good movie, watched that. Uh, watched a really good movie. We went to Nepal for a year, for a year. I played tennis when I was a kid. I played tennis. You don't really have to say played tennis. You don't have to make a pause over there. And then since this is a T, a, a T sound, so we will make it an R. You know, they bought a new house. They bought a, they bought a new house. All right? So every single time you have a T sound, and then you have a vowel, most likely it's going to be an A sound. You join both, please. One more time, we watched a really good movie. We went to Nepal, uh, I played tennis, and they bought a new house. All right, so point number two. Affirmative sentences use the past tense form of the verb, which often is an 
y the ending. In this case, we're talking about regular verbs. And for this, uh, let's see, Jose, Sierra, help us, sir, to read these examples, if you don't mind. No entendí. Uh, help us read. Uh, uh, a sentence one, two, three, and four, please. Okay. You see. He stayed, stayed home and stood. stood, stood. Mm, me cuesta. That's okay. Continue, please. Number two. He worked late last night. Alright, number three, please. Cook, cook a big diner. Alright. He wash and iron the 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 clothes. I appreciate it, sir. I really appreciate it. Okay, so listen to this, please. So we go. He stayed home and studied. He stayed, worked, cooked, and washed. So uh, and then if you join the cooked with uh, with the the a sound, you say cooked. Up. If you uh, join the washed and with the end, you say uh, washed. And, and this one, you gotta say a little bit fast, okay, naturally. Remember, speaking fluently means speaking naturally. You don't have to uh, go too fast because if you don't know how to walk, please do not run, okay? That's what we say in Spanish as well. Okay, no, no corramos antes de poder caminar bien. That's what we say. He stayed home and studied. Uh, he worked late last night. She cooked a big dinner. He washed and ironed the clothes. Okay? Si el sonido del verbo en presente, like, uh, is, uh, like SH or CH or TH or S, the past tense should be with T, like, t, like tomato. Like in this case, you know, washed. Okay, and if it's a K or a P, like cook, you say cooked. Work, you say worked. But in this case, you say he worked late last night, she cooked a big dinner. He washed and ironed the clothes. The problem is, if there's a vowel sound, just like this one. So you gotta uh, join this with this one, okay? You know, he, he washed and ironed the clothes. Point number four. Many verbs, I'm sorry, this is point number three. There's a mistake over there. Point number three, okay? This is point number three. Many verbs have an irregular form that is not an ED ending, okay? So in this case, we're not talking about stay, work, cooked, uh, washed, but rather a special spelling. Pero en vez de, a special spelling. That's what we're saying over there. And let me just choose Jocelyn. Jocelyn uh, Baños, uh, could you help us, please? Hello. Yes. Okay. I met Joe last night. Uh -huh. We had dinner at the new coffee. Uh -huh. We at ter Terry's pasta. Okay. Later, we saw a movie. I met, I met McCree. Okay. He bought dinner, so I for the movie. For the movie, all right. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. For this one, I'm gonna choose, let's see, Mr. Luis. Luis Villatoro, would you like to help us, sir? Uh, to read uh, one, two, three, four, and six again, please. Mr. Villatoro. Hi. Yeah, help us read, please. The examples one, two, three, four, uh, five, and six, please. Okay. I met Joe last night. Meet. We had dinner at the new coffee hill. Mm -hmm. We ate their pasta. It. Later, later we saw a movie. She. It made my cry. Made. Mm -hmm. I sit this. Um, right. He bought dinner, so I buy for the movie. Bye thank bye. You. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. The the words in parentheses, of course, is is the uh, present form. So I need a volunteer, please, if you can raise your uh, your hand to help us read 
again this way and then I'm going to pronounce them. Okay, a volunteer, please. All right, so a volunteer, please, like raise your hand and, and to, to read this, please, again. Who says me, teacher? <laughs> me, teacher. All right. All right, thank you, Raquel, I appreciate it. Yeah, go okay. ahead, please. I met Joy last night. We had dinner at the new co coffee. We ate their pasta. Later, we saw a movie. It mm -hmm. made me cry. He bought mm -hmm. dinner, so I paid for the movie. I appreciate it, Raquel. Thank you so much. Uh, so, cafe, it's the short form, you know, the short form for cafeteria. Okay. okay? So, uh, it's not really, you know, coffee. <laughs> So it's cafeteria. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, no problem. Okay, got it. And that, this goes this goes to everyone. Let's move forward over here. And because you helped us a lot. All right. Okay. Me, thank you. Um, all right. So next point in, in agenda over here, and it's point number four. So for WH questions, use did after the question word. For example, if I ask you, you know, on a yes, no question, I can ask you, did you take a shower today? You know, did, did you take a shower? Did you take a bath? Se bañaron hoy? <laughs> or, or the water was too cold? No. <clears throat> you know, that's, yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're very honest. But that is a, a, a direct question, okay? Because you can tell me, Manuel, you can tell me yes, or you can tell me no, you can tell me maybe, or you don't say anything. You say no comments. <laughs> So you may say that, but for a WH question, it's an information question. So you have to tell me everything. You have to give me details, okay? So, and uh, I have this as an example. What did you do on the weekend? And you, have, you, you can tell me one, 10, two things, three activities, or you, you don't tell me anything. So you can tell me I didn't do anything special or I did nothing. Listen to this. I didn't do anything special or I didn't do, I didn't, I'm sorry, or I do nothing, or I, I did nothing. I'm gonna write it down, all right? Okay, you can say this, or you can also say I did nothing. No hice nada, you can say it in those two ways, okay? I say I send the, the two ways in in the Zoom chat. So if I ask anybody over here, so what did you do on the weekend, uh, teacher? Actually, I didn't do anything special. I just stay home, etc. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, there's no this right money, right? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Or you can say I did nothing, or then that's okay. Where did Roy go on the weekend? And then you can say he went to Devon or he went downtown, he went to the supermarket, etc. Who did you meet? I met Susan or I didn't meet anybody. Okay, forever alone, right? Okay, and number five, uh, point number five, we have uh, a, for yes, no questions, we use did to start the question and, and, and did in short answer. So did you go out on Saturday? I would say, yes, I did uh, go out. That's a long response. Or you can say, no, I didn't go out. All right, that's a long answer. Yes, Raquel, what's the question you have? Raquel, do you have a question by the way or not? I don't have, <laughs> I don't have any question. Yeah, because your 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 hand is is up. I'm gonna lower it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you have two options. I know uh, why. I don't know why. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Um. So basically, you have two options over here. On a yes no question, you say yes or no, just like that. So I can ask you, did you go out on Saturday? No. That's it. Okay. Or you can say yes. Or you can also say maybe or I don't know if you don't remember if you went out, okay? And, uh, but you can also say, yes, uh, I went out. You can say that, yes, I went out, okay? Or, or, or this one, everyone is being used just to emphasize this. You just can say, yes, I went out with my friends or I went to a supermarket or I went to a restaurant or, or something like that, okay? Oh no, I didn't go out, 
And then you say, why? I stay home. And the other option is the short answer. Did you see Roy? Yes. Or yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Just like that. Okay. Questions uh, uh, over here. Are we good uh, to this point, everyone? Do you have any questions, by the way, about this? No. All right. No, teacher. You know, something something I would say uh, good about studying the past is that the verb applies to every single person. You can say, my father uh, went to the supermarket, or you can say, my mom went to the supermarket, everybody went to the supermarket, etc. So the verb does not change in the past. The only problem is when it comes to regular verse you, you you need to learn or memorize how to say stayed cooked worked washed okay with regular verse but with irregular verbs uh, you just simply say the verb in past for example you can say i ate three pupusas last saturday you know i ate three pupusas last saturday and you can say my son ate two pupusas last saturday so the verb is the same does not change negative statements as well the verb does not change and you know this already by the way this is just a review for example we have you can say did not or didn't but listen to this when you speak you say didn't but when you write it down you say did not okay and if you are uh, in a school learning something you gotta be formal but if you're outside with your friends you say a contraction that's the way it is okay so um let's see um nati why don't you help us please read uh, examples one through six please on this one okay i did not have time to go to the party mm -hmm. i didn't have time to go to the party she did not like her dinner she didn't like wait can you up a little bit the screen please um i don't see but i think i'm sure i remembered them uh, all right so let, yes let me help you over here what about now yes, yes. all right yes uh, number four uh, she didn't like her dinner. She the trains did not leave on time. Mm -hmm. The train didn't leave on time. Okay, when you speak, it's better to use a contraction. All right, we say I didn't have time to go to the party. She didn't like her dinner, and the trains didn't leave on time. That's the way it is. You know, for uh, the United States uh, uh, citizens, you know, Americans they uh, are always working or doing something so they, they cannot waste too much time over there. Like for example, Manuel says, I visited my parents, I went shopping and I watched the movie. All right, what movie did you watch, Manuel? Uh, Mr. Duarte, what movie did you watch, by the way? Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, it's just an example. Oh, shooter, 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 shooter. Ah, that's a good one with Mark Wahlberg. With with Mark yeah. Wahlberg. Yeah, yeah, that's the, the same guy from Guerra de Papas. Yeah, he's the same guy. Yeah, I, I, you know, I know a little about movies, you know, because I do watch movies when I have the time, you know, on vacation. <laughs> yeah. All right, so traditional games of El Salvador. So who says, teacher, this is me? I mean, uh, when I was, I don't know, seven or 10 years old in, this, in the street <laughs> of your neighbors, of your neighborhood, right? Uh, and I got this from, I mean, lo, lo, lo tuve de, de un meme. Okay, I just make the translation of everything. You were not a kid if you didn't do this calculation. No tuviste infancia si no hiciste este, este cálculo. You know, that's what I did over there. Okay. All right, so you, we were mathematicians, right? We were experts over there, you know, doing, you know, that calculation, which was difficult. You see how he spreads, you know, como extiende, how stretches his, his, his leg over here, and look at his expression in there. 
yeah, that was me every single day with my brothers because I have two brothers, you know, playing in the street, you know, in front of our, our, our in front of our house, playing uh, marbles, trompo, playing escondelero, and playing everything over there. I remember that. Yes, ladron librado, etc. So I remember that. So tonight, everyone, if you are from that type of generation, and if you are not, you know, too uh, young or old, you should remember this. You see this one over here, alalsa, that's what we used to say, right? <laughs> two kids, a uh, carambola, right? Uh, two kids playing to chibolas or marbles in the street over there. You see his face, very focused, very concentrated. You look at this one. Yeah, we can say that. Nice. So uh, go to the chat, please. And in the chat, I share with you. Now listen to this, please. I sent to you already the images that you're gonna be reading. Okay, now look at this, please. Right now it's 8.30. Ya hablé demasiado, creo, And now it's your turn, it's your turn to, to speak. But listen to this, please. Uh, let me just get this information. Where is it? Here it is. All right. I sent these this, uh, images to the chat already, to WhatsApp. So in that way, you're gonna be able to see this in, in a bigger way. But I'm gonna do something for you, even better. I'm gonna give you the original source where I got this. O sea, la voy a mandar la información de donde yo obtuve esto, okay? So you have this one, la vibra de la mar, and it's in Spanish, right? La vibra, la vibra de la mar, por aquí pueden pasar, etc. right? Then you have chibolas, and then you have escondelero, hide and seek, a trompo, a spinning top, and uh, capirucho, right? I, I was, yeah, I, I was never good at capirucho, you know, never. Right, but right. I don't know, I was no good at, the, maybe I just did like 20, but I have friends that, you know, they just did this all the time. You know that, right? But I was good at, uh, at playing trompo. I, rem I remember breaking a couple of trompos on my friends and also playing hide and seek. And also, we also play something called tantar or with a ball or something like that. I remember that. You know, I'm from Usulutan, so we have plenty of space. Over there. Okay. And we also play Pomponte, right? Nia Pomponte and everything over there, if you remember that. <laughs> okay, so you have the images, but I'm gonna send to you the uh, original access. But uh, be before I do so, let me send you to practice in purse, okay? What you're gonna do is just to read the information. For example, you start by reading a la vibra vibra de la mar, and then you say, yes, I remember I played that and then you tell the story in English, please, okay? And then you tell your experience. Remember, we're talking about childhood memories, okay? So let me open the breaker rooms, and here we go. So let me send the access to this so you can practice, all right? Very quickly, and here we go. So join the rooms, please. The, the rooms are, are already uh, open and available over there, okay? If you have any doubts how to pronounce something, please let me know, I'm gonna help you out. ¿Por qué? Porque si yo no, no, no lo entendí el ticho. Hello, hello. Oh, ahí está. Tenemos que... <risa> o, o, exactamente. 
Yeah, first of all, just read. Read the, the games, okay? And then if you play the games, share your experience with your classmate, all right? Like for example, okay, for example, I, I can start. Let me give you, let me give you an example over here, okay? So just one second. Por cierto, ya les mandé la información, el acceso directo para que ustedes ingresen. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, por cuestiones de, you know, copyrighted, I'm not supposed to share the, 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 the specific website. So, instead of doing that, I'm going to share the images for you. Okay. Pero usted, usted mire el material directo, ¿verdad? El acceso directo que le mandé. Por favor. So that's what you gotta do right now. All right. Okay. And and uh, very quickly, you know, uh, this is like the front page. And what you can do, just take turns reading the paragraphs. O sea, toman turnos leyendo los párrafos. Por, por ejemplo, maybe, Jocelyn, you can start. You can start remembering is to return to live. Como recordar es volver a nacer, ¿verdad? Or at least that's what my great grandmother used to tell me with a smile on her face. Pueden ir oración por oración leyendo, or you can just read a paragraph and then you continue, just like that. Ah, okay. okay. Yes, and uh -huh. then, this is just the introduction, but aquí no hay mucho que decir. All right, you don't have to, that much to say over here. But on, on the next one, you can start reading, for example. So the first one, a la víbora de la mar, to the sea viper. <laughs> and then you just read, a la víbora, víbora de la mar, por aquí pueden pasar, los de adelante corre atrás, and then you start reading. And then, Every child in my neighborhood knew the lyrics of that song the last time I remember. And then if, if you have the same experience uh, as this paragraph is stating, you're going to talk to Miguel and say, yes, I remember going out and doing this and playing this with my brother, etc. That's what you have to do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. So continue, please. I'm going to help some more students. Hello, teacher. Hello. Yep. Hello, teacher. I yes. have a question. Yeah, go ahead. In español, please. Teníamos que leer o formular oraciones con la información o acordarnos o digamos qué qué habíamos jugado. Se la voy a mandar por escrito y luego se la digo. Okay. Okay. All right. First, uh, take terms written. O sea, tome turnos leyendo. Oh, all right. All right. Second, second, uh, share, all right, share your personal experience. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. And then right. you, can, you can tell, I don't know, maybe uh, a, a memory that you that you have okay yes yes okay all right okay, just, just like that yes just like yes. that yes okay. and you can read uh emmanuel you can read just maybe one paragraph if you want paragraph por paragraph or oración por oración it's up to you mm -hmm. so it's up okay. to you and that's it that's it yes Ok, entonces voy a comenzar con la lectura del primer párrafo yo y tú comienzas con... Ahí está. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, how, how can I help you? Yes. <laughs> ¿Cómo les puedo ayudar? Yes, how can I help you? ¿Verdad que vamos? Eh. Ajá. Ok. But in Spanish. <laughs> I mean, if you can use English, that's but Spanish is okay. No, don't worry. Okay. Eh, ¿Verdad que íbamos? Okay. Ajá. Uh, íbamos a contar si alguna vez hemos jugado alguno de estos juegos en inglés, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. But uh, why don't you start in the following way. ¿Por qué no comienzan de la siguiente manera? Primero, you read the information over there and then you mm -hmm. share your personal experience if you have a memory. 
about this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like this, alcancen a ver lo que dice traditional games of the Salvador, the one I have in here. Can you see? Yes. All right, so like this one, you can read this uh, you know, from, from the place I shared it with you. So you can read it and then say, yeah, I remember, uh, I don't know, playing with my friends or I used to play this. I spent, I don't know, three hours, uh, uh, you know, out, out of home playing this, etc. So you, you can just share this. First, read, hay que leer, y luego eh, compartir la información. That's it, basically. Mm. <coughs> Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Would you like to start to play with this game? Asom. Daughter. Child. Uh, you, my, I don't know, but my internet or your internet is bad. Oh, you can you cannot listen. But, but I, I can hear you. I can hear you well, Nati. I can hear you well. Yes, it's okay. Um, can you hear me, Margarita? So so. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. Did you read the the paragraph already? Did you read this already? Uh, the paragraph. We didn't read the paragraph. Only the game. Yeah, I mean, that's okay, but did you read all the games information? Uh, yes. All right. yes. 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 Yes, already, yes. Okay, so you're good then. So right now you're just uh, sharing the information, right? That's right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, tell me your experience. All right, so try to practice, please. I mean, share share the information, please. I mean, if it's, uh, I mean, you just gotta speak, please. It's okay if you make mistakes, so don't worry about that. So you can okay. ask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I was a child, I used to play escondelero with my sisters in my cousins. Uh, Lo leo yo, el de escondelero. <laughs> yes, uh, I think uh, it's uh, Mauricio. Yes, Mauricio, really, please. I can hear you. Yes. Yeah, really, please. Which one? Condelero, you said, right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Hide and seek. Playing hide and seek was exciting, fun, and about all very tired. Yeah. If you play it like me, you know what I mean. This game called Spread Rogues the Neighborhood or Super Looking for the Best Hiding Place to Win the Game. The phrase that Identify this game is one, two, three. Ah, bueno, uno, dos, tres para mí y todos mis amigos. <laughs> one, two, three for me and all my friends. When I looked for my friends, they used to hide in less thruckful, thruckful place. Mm -hmm. This was one of the most exciting games of my childhood. I had never played something so exciting before. Yeah, I agree with this. This one is thoughtful. Thoughtful means eh, como algo no muy pensado, algo arrebatado. Digamos, son no muy buenos escondites. That's what we're oh. talking about. For example, if you are thoughtful, es como usted es pensativo, ¿verdad? Piensa las cosas bien. So that's thoughtful. 
um, thing, right? Yes, yes. All right, so you know, let, let's do something over here. I'm going to close the, the rooms right now, and then I'm going to open them again, but in this case, you're gonna be practicing in groups of three, you know, sharing this information with your classmates. Okay? Okay. Yes, here we go. All right, so welcome, welcome back, everyone. Uh, so welcome back, please. All right, so um, all right, so my friends, listen, please. Uh, I think I need to uh, send you back again to the breakout rooms, but this time I'm going to send you to practice in groups of three, okay? Because you know I could see, I could see that some of you had issues with your internet in that way you were not able to participate or to communicate so if you want or if you like i can send you uh, again to a breaker room so you can practice this information would that be okay for you if you want to keep on practicing this yes all right so but this time it's going to be in groups of three i think i think it's much better but you know in this opportunity just talk about this you can you can say i remember at one time i went out with my friends and then we play hide and seek and we played for five hours and i i won the game nobody found me you can say that or something like that okay so tell a story or say una anecdota you know tell a memory so that's what you gotta do right now you may say okay i'm going to start so and then you can choose you can choose from trompo escondelero mica and the other ones that you have in there that I forgot. Okay. Uh, Joyo too, but we don't have it there, but Joyo is another one too. Okay. Here we go. And there you go. So the rooms, the rooms have been open. Adriana, Jocelyn, Miguel, and Suma are on one room. Manuel, Nati, Vanessa are on the other one. And then uh, Jose, Mauricio, and Raquel are on the third one. So go ahead, please enjoy them. I'm gonna visit you, okay? Yeah, Sulma, your connection is, is, is not stable, so we cannot hear you well. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Hi. Hello, Sulma. Yeah. All right, so who, who wants to store? Who wants to store this? Okay, I start. All right. I remember one, one time uh, with my children, with my sons, so, <laughs> um, we're playing trompo, we coloring, paint, and we, oh, I, oh, no sé cómo se dice, um, pintamos los trompos y les enseñé a bailarlos. <laughs> so, you, 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 to spin it, to, to spin the trompo, okay. I was, spin, yeah, like, I forgot that that word. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Is Trumpo is my favorite game, and is my. Yeah. I I remember. Uh, Did you play it every day? I don't know. Let's say when the, when you were a child. You, you can say yeah. this. You know, li listen to that, please. I just sent. Uh, is something that you can say you can start with so you can say uh when i was a child i used to play trompo with my friends in the street 
and I was the best, you can say that. I was very good at playing trompo. You know, I was very good at playing, and then you can say, I don't know, trompo, capirucho, eh, etc. Okay. And then you can also say, but it, the, for me, I don't, but trompo was my favorite. You can say that, right? Yeah. Yes. Remember, you don't have to use like complex sentences, but use what you know. Okay. Something just like that. All right. That's why you, you, we, we got to practice. But thanks. So you're saying uh, that you play Miguel, right? Yeah. Yes. So Miguel, you're saying that you, you, you taught, o sea, le enseñó, or you played with your kids trompo and then you painted them and you colored them, color, you know, color them colorearlo o pintarlo, painting them, and then you uh, teach, you know, you taught them how to spin, right? And that's great. Y cómo agarrarlos, so you how to get them with your hands. That's another virtue. That's otra virtud, right? You know, to get them with your hand. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit difficult if you don't know. Y tienen que estar sedita. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you see? It has to be very smooth. It's smooth, right? It's smooth. Okay, lisitos. Nice. So Thanks for... Yes. Yeah. Excuse me? A little bit dangerous. Yeah, a little bit dangerous too, but I never got injured, I remember. Never. And nobody got injured. Yeah, but right now <laughs> that I am a father, I gotta be careful, you know, with my little boy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, somebody else? Uh, Meet the sheriff. Go ahead, please. But, you know, I have to visit another room. And then, but you keep on practicing. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Welcome yes, sir. to the class. <laughs> yeah, welcome aboard. <laughs> yes. Welcome. In Spanish, please. Ah, se la devolví. <laughs> se la devolví. Yes. Sí. All right. Right. No, estábamos hablando, ya, ya nos contamos la historia, pero podemos volverla a contar. No, no se preocupe, eh, eh, pero si gusta, si gusta yo también les cuento. I remember, you know, I remember playing, I have two brothers, and I have an older brother and a younger brother. By my big brother, it's only one year older than me, o sea, solo un año nos llevamos, ok. Okay. So, and then my old, my younger brother is too young, too, uh, I mean, two years younger than me. So, uh, we play together and we play with our friends in the neighborhood. And I remember in the same day we play, we started playing in the morning trompo until we break, you know, until we break a, a trompo from somebody else. And then we play chibolas, you know, marbles with my brothers we also played escondelero hide and seek in the afternoons and also tantarro and sometimes we play mica as well okay and everything so but i think that my favorite was I, trompo that was the best one because i knew how to catch it i, I knew how to catch it in the air you know how to spin it yeah that's very hard yeah it's, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I, and very I used to, yeah, and I, and I was good because I have very good aiming. You know, tenía puntería with that. Okay. Oh yeah. And you yeah. know what? I, I I still know how to do it. I still know how to do it. Chibola, okay. I was. Not, yeah, Chibola, I was not very good, but we used to play it too, with this. Uh, uh, Spitting shrub. Uh, this guy is a leader danger teacher. Yes. Because, uh, ¿cómo se dice calaciar en, en inglés? I don't o know, golpear, maybe to, to, to break or to hit. To hit, si Nati nos dijo que era hit, ok. Yeah, yeah. Eso era lo mejor, de, de, de golpear los troncos. Yeah, calaciarlo, you know, hit it over the, until it breaks, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's what you did. Y le, le hacía un sonudito así como martillo, like a hammer, you go, yeah, just like this, right? Just like this. Yeah. Remember that one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know all the tricks over there. I know all the tricks. But you know that the, 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 the trompo has to be or needed to be a smooth, sedita, right? You know, for you to catch it. Just like that. <laughs> Teacher, do you nice. have any nephews? Any what? Nephews? Or I have, sons that I have, play I, with? 
I, I have a son, but my son is only three years old. So ah, it's, it's okay. still too little. Yeah, but I'm going to teach him, you know. I'm going to teach him. All the tricks, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to I'm gonna teach him all my tricks over there. Everything, you know. Except capiruchas the because I'm not good at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Mm. What about what oh, about you? Fun. Maybe Nati or Vanessa, did you used to play these games? Maybe not, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, right, I don't okay. like it because um, maybe La Vibra de la Mar. Uh -huh. What about Pomponte, Nia Pomponte? Pomponte, Nia Pomponte. Ahí viene su marinero mm -hmm. con ese bonito traje que parece. No, no, no It's a funny vida. play. Huh? You, you don't like it? Not too much. Like I like yeah. that. Arranca como se dice? Uh, I don't know because that's in Spanish. You you would say because that that's only arranca cebolla. Yeah, I think you say it just like that. Just okay. this one. Yes. You say yes. Yeah, this one. That's arranca cebolla. Yeah, I don't know. You when you other, other play is traditional in in El Salvador. Is a uh, salta cuerda jump? Yes, jump the rope, yeah, jump, jump the rope, jump, jump the rope. Jump, yes, jump. jump the rope. Yes. I used to play a game that called Jack. I think yeah. with a ball. With a ball, and, and then it, yeah, mm -hmm. and it, 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 it bounces. It rebotaba. It bounces, right? Bounce. You know, right. like this. Correct. Yeah, that was for for girls, right? Jacks was for girls, and, and chivolas was for boys, right? For boys, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was the way it, it is. I used to play also another a game called uh, Tantaro, but maybe you're not familiar with that. Yeah, it, it's, yeah you, you, it's like a condelero, but the difference is that you have a soccer ball and then you kick it and everybody hides. Todos se esconden. La patean, se esconden y solo una persona lo busca. Y, anda, y la pelota la ponen por ahí por en medio de la calle y andan buscando. Y si yo lo encuentro a usted... Eh, eh, usted está por ahí y para librarlo tienen que pegarle la pelota y mandarla lejos para que todos se escondan otra vez. So that's another version, that's another version of, of, of hide and seek. So that's what you do. Yeah, I used to be very playful with my friends, you know, having <laughs> a lot of free time. <laughs> yeah. Having brothers, a lot of brothers. Yeah, and besides that, I have a lot of cousins, you know, like three cousins, uh, bo boys, and then mi abuelo, mi abuelo, con mis mis abuelos tuvieron once hijos, so that's why. You see, they have eleven children, so that's why. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> and in the open, in in Usulután, you know, in Berlin, so in that town, and it's very safe. You can be in the street playing until your eight p.m., nine p.m., and nothing happens to you. Okay. Yes, it is still like that. All right, so let's let's go back to the main station, Mauro. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right, so welcome back, everyone, and uh, let's continue with the class. Okay. This year, got, yes, sir. I, I have a kids. Uh -huh. I have a request for everyone and now the cameras uh, because to see their face. All, that. All right. All right. All right. So everyone, if you want to uh, open the camera, if you have, I don't know, clothes on, <laughs> si están con camisa, yeah. if you have, if you have your shirt on. Yeah, I mean, I invited you, I invite you to open the camera. Yes, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Manuel is right. So I know your face, Manuel. I know Nati. I also know Zulma, Vanessa. I'm getting to know you right now. Miguel, yeah, I saw you right last time con la camisa de, 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 de Lindes. I remember that one. Yes, with your children, mother. Thank you for that. Okay. All right. So the last activity for, for the evening, uh, and here we go. All right, this one, okay? So uh, you're gonna um, tell me which of these activities uh, identified you, okay? 
So you're gonna tell me which of these activities identifies you, okay? You can tell me, uh, when I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. You say yes or not, it, that's okay. You can also say, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I do, that you're very organized. Number three, I never used to play sports, but now I like to keep fit. Right now you are like into sports and into exercise and everything. But for this, I need a volunteer to help us uh, read this. And then just in your mind, just think about this. You can say, yes, that's me or no, I never did this. Okay, so volunteer please who can raise his or her hand. And then with this, we're done with the class. Okay. So who can who can help me read, you know, a statement number four, five, six, and seven, please? Number one, teacher? Yeah, that's okay. Go ahead. Uh, when I was a, a kid, I used it to be very messy, but no, I am very neat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two. I didn't use the collection anything, but now I do. Number three. I never use it to places or, but now I like to keep a, keep fit. Fit, yes. Number four. Number four, I never use it to, wor to worry about the money, but I do know. Yeah, that's me, right? <laughs> <laughs> number five, five I, I used it to have a lot of hobby but no i don't have any any free time <laughs> that's me right so no free time <laughs> all right number three i didn't use the follow politics but no i check it online every every day yeah twitter right check oh, twitter oh. Uh -huh. Polit when I okay. Poli politics, right? Okay, when I was younger. Poli okay, politics. Number seven, when I was younger, used to care a lot about my appearance. No, I took buy it to care okay. about what I love. Okay, so I now uh, about my appearance, your appearance. But now I'm too busy. I'm, I'm too busy uh, to care how I look. That's me as well. So with this, okay. we're gonna close the the book tonight, and I'm gonna say thank you for participating and staying here. So try to practice this. Recuérdense que les mandé un PDF. Y ahí está prácticamente la clase de hoy, de mañana y del jueves. Okay. okay. It, it's the same information that you have, same as the platform. So what you can do, because tomorrow we're gonna start working on this. So think about this. So think you now and you when, when you were a kid. If you used to uh, play sports or if you used to uh, never worry about money or when you were younger, you, you know, you were, you were uh, very picky with your appearance and everything, but now you don't care about how you look, okay? Piensen okay. en esto. Mañana, you know, tomorrow we're going to talk about this, okay? So okay. have a great night. Good night. Yeah. Have a great night, uh, Thank you. Thank you. You too. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, you know. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, everyone.